so. How have the visit so far? Well, the visit so far has been uh, very enjoyable, very productive. Uh, it, it was, we were off to a very, very good start last night because last night uh, dinner gave me an opportunity to uh, discuss with you some of the issues that are on your mind, on my mind, how we can uh, uh, travel together, improve the partnership without uh, uh, renewing uh, any program, but how we can, uh, we can be of, of help to you because you are one of our esteemed member members, and uh, and we're very keen to continue to help and to leverage the incredible performance that you have realized so far, so that it doesn't go to waste uh, after all this uh, all this good work that was done. I have to say that uh, we are really impressed with the work that has been done because you indeed uh, arrived in a situation that was, from a macroeconomic point of view, fragile. Uh, all indicators in the red and uh, through massive work, efforts, sacrifices as well, uh, those indicators are turning in the right direction. And I think, you know, if, if anything, we would like to continue to be of support to you, to continue to give you uh, the, uh, the advice that, that uh, is based on a joint objective and a joint vision of reconciling uh, the imperative of democracy, which is built on your political maturity in Ghana, and the fiscal responsibility that will be based on a smart mixture between domestic revenue mobilization and uh, and debt, so that it is sustainable and it, you can respond to the to the demand of development. Um, you're right that Ghana has been setting standards for many, many, many decades, and we very strongly hope that uh, the political maturity can be coupled with the fiscal responsibility that will continue to set standards and, and hope that it will generate the development that populations actually expect. So you can really count on, on us, on me, uh, to tell you in the, in the weeds and the nitty-gritty details wherever we see that there is a risk, because it, it boils down to details. You know, we can have the best sort of overall uh, fiscal imperatives and tax structure if there are lots of loopholes and exemptions and, and, and convenient um, uh, temporary measures, that, that, that is going to undermine new possibilities. So we will be the, uh, as Keynes would have said, uh, the ruth ruthless truth teller. <laughs> uh, because because that's, that's the, the best service that we can provide to our members, particularly when they have the affirmed vision that you have for the country. I think it's important in so far as we're exiting. First of all, thank you once again for your presence here. We see that as some sort of uh, vote of confidence in what we're doing, in the efforts we're making to put our economy on a stable basis. We believe that a stable, functioning, strong macro economy, i.e. an economy that recognizes the need for fiscal discipline, has to be a fundamental prerequisite and base. And this is what we have been trying to do over these last two years since we came. We met an economy which is the most substantial and significant disequilibrium on all the indicators that uh, we are, me, I'm a lawyer, and I know about <laughs> the indicators <laughs> that the economists you talk about, uh, balance of payment, primary surplus, <laughs> fiscal deficit, <laughs> yes, all of those were in significant disarray when we came. And we've done a lot to try and put the economy back on track. The fundamental lesson that we have all learned as a result of these several interventions by the fund, the need for discipline in the management of our public finances, that lesson is one that has gone down deep. And it is what has allowed us, over the course of these last two years, to bring down the deficit from the 9.3% figure that it was in 2016 when we came into office, 5.9 last year, and it is anticipated by the year end that we'll have a deficit in the region of 4.5%, um, <laughs> to consolidate this process. We're going to be passing in this meeting of parliament a uh, fiscal rule legislation which is going to cap the deficit that is lawfully available to governments of Ghana 5% maximum. 
Because we think it is important that the sacrifices that have been made by the Ghanaian people over this period, these last two years, find anchor, not just in pious declarations, but in strong statutory uh, underpinnings. We see already the effect of that, it, the investment interest that it is provoking in our country. Major global uh, players, Volkswagen, Nissan, Sinotrack, all these people have given very strong indications of the tension in the coming year to get seriously involved in, 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 in the growth and the development of our economy. And we believe that it is this fiscal rectitude that we are holding on to that is also encouraging them to be able to come. I was explaining to the Vice President that what you're doing on the land registry uh, and the addresses um, yeah. mechanism could be of great use to some of the European Union countries. Okay, I'll tell you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm entitled to quote you. <laughs> <laughs> so once again, thank you so much for coming. Okay. I appreciate it. Thank you.